in terms of trading activities in terms of trading activities uh when i was staying at the student accommodation i've i've had a fight with the caretaker right i've had a fight with the caretaker uh, of where i was staying and it was bad because the guy didn't understand the guy didn't like us because uh he was trading before you know he was trading before us so the guy was trading before us he was doing his technicals right he was doing his technical tradings and all that so we are like the new kids on the block we are doing fundamental he has been trading for years we are doing fundamental all of a sudden we're just making money quick in one minute so almost every wednesday it was we were trading we were trading on tuesdays back in 2017 we were trading on tuesdays and wednesdays yeah tuesdays and wednesdays uh wednesdays we were trading meeting minutes under usd uh interest rate under usd and then on tuesday i, I, for, I forgot what what is it that we were trading so on tuesdays and, and wednesdays you would hear us scream making money you know after making money we withdraw you know we withdraw after making money then i told kuto that you see this guy doesn't like us and he's making our lives difficult you know when 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 you are renting when you are living in someone's sh shadow you live and abide by their rules you know you th there's nothing that you you can ever do because it's not your place so we were renting at the student accommodation i told you that boy let us get our own house right let us get our own house so that we can get out of this abuse that we are in and then we agreed and then we drafted down a plan a trading plan a trading plan which 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 had results the aim was to make at least 300,000 rents that was the aim at that time you know we've drafted down our trading plan we've split our money the way we wanted uh, we wanted to and that was our plan you know and then we pushed we pushed we pushed now here's how fbk was born uh, or, or let me rather say here's how i got out there you know out there be known as that forex guy so one time i was trading st still still in the student accommodation so when i was trading it was on a wednesday i think i was trading a, a usd interest rate now when i was trading usd interest rate i've, I've recorded the video when I recorded the video, uh, I've posted it on Facebook. Remember, at that time, I didn't have followers, right? At that time, I didn't have followers. I didn't really care about followers. FBK was not entirely born. Uh, me trading was based on my surrounding, the people that I was with at that time, right? Now, the video went viral uh, on social media, especially KZN. People started sharing the video and so forth so everybody wanted to know who is this guy you know who is this guy why does he trade like that because i've made money i've doubled the account in just like less than 20 seconds it's 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 something that uh traders at that time have haven't seen before you know they were amazed they were like who is this guy who is this guy so they would come to me and say dude teach us how to trade you know and when they went to my facebook account they found me as i think i was i was ct coach take a leg at that time i think so they were that's that's how the the name coach started growing in the industry you know they're like hey dude teach us teach us teach us teach us and i've taught them but teaching them was not really showing them everything from the start because we are talking about existing traders people who already knew what forex is but they were doing the technical side of it so i brought in the fundamental side of it in a different manner in a different manner now after that people started asking what is it that i'm doing and so forth so i i shared with people at that time i told them this is what i do this is what i do They've done it. Now, the problem, 
here there's the problem after teaching them for free keep in mind teaching them for free those niggers in kzn they took everything that i taught them and then they started selling it that was where the problem started now you know you come to me and you say coach teach me how to do this thing i teach you for free keep in mind after that you are taking what i taught you for free and then you're going to sell it to people in case at end five thousand you are selling my work you know that's when i noticed that hey, 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 the industry can be cruel at times you know you 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 teach people for free and they don't respect your work and that's how fbk was born it was not entirely my plan uh, just like this small boys who just look at coach they look at coach they look at fbk then like ah tomorrow i'm opening a, an institution then tomorrow they open an institution that's why they will never go far is because they are opening that based on competition never compete with anybody never be yourself so that's how it that's how fbk was born that's how fbk started but obviously at that time uh, fbk started small now at that time at that time joining fbk was 25 rents 2017 joining fbk was how much 25 rand like one rand two rand three rand 25 rand at that time you know so that's 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 how i i got in the industry and then i made more videos trading more videos trading more videos trading and and all and all that you know i i started small very very small now the problem begins with black people in general a black person buys this thing for 25 rents after buying for 25 rents they are, they are going to sell it for 5000 rents you see that was the problem that i've had uh, with this kzn niggas remember i was dealing with kzn niggas at that time it was kzn only Gauteng, other provinces didn't really know much about trading you know if there is any province that is uh, top of the range with with new scams new scams new updates anything which has to do with quick money it has to be kzn i've got to give those people a cup you know even triple m they were the most participants even WhatsApp gifting, what there's this thing called uh, WhatsApp gifting that's rotating. I don't know where where where, where does it origin, but I know it KZN somewhere somehow there's a, there's KZN involved. So I've got to give those guys credit. KZN people are hustlers, you know. I I love how they think. They are they are hustlers, you know. So that's that's the 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 famousness of forex trading. And the bad publicity of forex trading originates from KZN. That's another problem. And then it originated from KZN and then it came to Gauteng and then it spread uh, just like coronavirus to the other parts of the, the country. But it started in KZN. So that's, that's, that's how FBK was born and so forth. Keep in mind, I don't have a house at that time. I don't have a car. Keep in mind... I can afford Gucci at that time. I can afford LV. I can afford buying champagnes. But I didn't do any of those things. You see. Now. Um, 2017. Uh, I've told Betuel. My manager. My current manager. I've told Betuel that. Betuel. Um, since you know that. I'm no longer into music anymore. Now I'm pushing Forex. Come and join me. You know? You know what Betol said? He said, I, Mfana, I'm not coming there. That thing is a scam. The, you see, the very same Betol that you know today, he said that's a scam. I told Vincent, the Vincent that you know, I'm like, Vincent, I'm pushing Forex, my boy. Come and, like, come, let me show you how this thing is done as family vincent said ah infana that's a scam i'm not coming there it's a scam now it's because of this everybody says forex is a scam until it works for them which which makes sense 
I mean, you didn't just believe something that never worked for you, right? So we, we can't really blame them. Fosh, I told him. From 2016, Fosh, I've told him in 2016. I was like, Fosh, come boy, let's push this trading thing. Fosh said, ah, it's a scam. I'm talking about my current partners. They all said it's a scam in the beginning, right? We, 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 we can't blame them. At that time, Betuel was a rugby player. He, Betuel was playing rugby. You see how fat he is now. It's because he was drinking. When I was trading, Betuel was drinking a thing called USN. USN, it's like supplements. They make you fat. So when I was trading, he was drinking USN. When I'm trading, he's drinking USN. So he got big. He got big. He got very, very big. He was playing rugby at that time. He actually thought that someday he's going to play for the national uh, springbok what what. He was playing rugby Betuel. I told him that you see this rugby of thing of yours. You are running after six packs. I'm telling you, my boy, six packs don't pay bills. Leave that thing. And he's like, I, I'm fine where I am. I'm like, okay, sharp. Now, that time, I didn't have a house. I didn't have a car. Yet still... The current partners that I have already knew, they already knew what I'm doing. But they all said it's a scam. Now, this simply means that even your surroundings, people you're with right now will say it's a scam until you make money and now they want money from you. That's life, unfortunately. It's, it's, there's nothing we can do. It's, it's part of life, you know? Now... Uh, God answered our prayers after trading and we've managed to, to get our own house. We've been planning for that since month end January, early February 2017. Uh, getting our own place and all that, you know. Now, back to relationships.